Good afternoon to you. Mark Sutt of HurricaneTrack.com here. Quick hurricane outlook and discussion for you. And then we're going to take a few days off and be back on Monday and wrap up this 2020 hurricane season with a lot of uh, interesting things that we've got planned for next year, including a new off-season logo reveal that I'm going to do on Monday. Uh, we finally settled on one. The great work between all of us behind the scenes at Hurricane Track here. Lots of people volunteering to help out, and it's going to really pay off. Uh, this is the new overall logo, and this is created by a kid, and he is a kid. He's a high school kid, and uh, his name is Tim, and uh, he made this for us, um, and it's really nice. I like it. It's a lot cleaner version of the one that I created many years ago, and so this is what we're going to go with going forward, and um, then we're going to reveal this off-season logo because we're going to be very busy in the off-season, very active with all things weather-related and applying what we learned during the hurricane season as well as past hurricane season seasons to help you stay ahead of any kind of weather. It's kind of like uh, you know going to a big game, like the championship game of any event, and then you become a season pass holder because you think, wow, these are pretty good season ticket holder. Um, the weather never stops, put it that way. And this is a good example of that. Look at what's going on. Very little activity as you'd expect down here in the tropics because my goodness it's the end of november but now we've got these mid-latitude storms nice little storm system curled up there brought some tornadic activity to portions of the arlington dallas fort worth area last night you probably saw that some active weather with that system in the southern parts of it down in parts of alabama uh, through mississippi alabama going into georgia later today but nothing widespread and nothing off the charts severe. It's just a matter of being aware. There's so much news and everything else going on distracting you. Uh, just make sure you stay on top of what's happening with the weather so that you are not taken by surprise. Out here in the subtropical Atlantic, a uh, little low pressure area trying to develop and make something of itself, but it's probably not going to be able to do it this time around. As we go through the next couple of months, December into January and beyond, I think our main area of development will probably be up here. That's typical. The ocean temperatures are warmer than average. You get these storm systems that come in and they leave a little piece behind and they try to develop uh, these low pressure areas. The atmosphere is cold on top of them, colder than usual, and the oceans are warmer than normal. And sometimes you just get these little rogue developments out here. It won't surprise me at all if we get something that tries to do that. And maybe, I don't know, probably a low chance that we get something in the Southwest Caribbean in December, the way the pattern has gone with a, such an active October, November across this area, I won't be shocked if we get something in the Southwest Caribbean either. But nothing showing up in the model guidance right now. Very strong upper level westerly winds cutting across much of the tropics as you would expect for this time of year. And we're going to start focusing more and more on off-season weather, winter storms, lower 48 concerns. Every once in a while, we'll take a peek at what is happening over in Europe because we're getting more and more of a following from people in Europe. And that's great. It's wonderful. I mean, uh, I couldn't ask for anything more. It's such an amazing, humbling thing to have so many people following and supporting one way or the other, whether you're a patron and a sustaining member or you're watching the videos and spreading you know, what we do through sharing the videos and commenting, you know, it's 90-something percent, like 98% positive, maybe even higher than that. And that's awesome. And it all stems from, I guess, you know, most people come for the hurricanes and you stay for the other weather. Well, right now, uh, no hurricanes to worry about, 10%, 20% over the next two and five days, respectively of this disturbance. It's a low pressure area still attached to a frontal system well to the east southeast of Bermuda. Bermuda of course is right there just in case you didn't know. thought maybe that was a speck on whatever you're viewing this on. Nope it's not a speck it is Bermuda. Uh, everything else in the tropical Atlantic and elsewhere is shut down and of course that is the same for the Pacific hurricane season. It's over. I mean almost. Almost. Monday Midnight into Tuesday, once it becomes December 1st, that is it. We can close the books, hopefully, without you know, unless something pops up that we're not expecting 
And again, like I said, I think that would be somewhere out in here, maybe over near the Azores in the off season. Um, other than that, it's going to be a nice, quiet time, uh, and and we can put the season behind us finally. All right, lower 48 weather, real quick. Not much on the watch warning map, which is great because a lot of people are traveling uh, despite what is going on with the dadgum virus, as I call it. I understand that. People are traveling. Hopefully people take precautions and just understand, you know, look, we're really dealing with this thing in a way that we haven't had to face since April, and I know we're tired of it. I am too. I'm done. I'm tired with it myself. I'm ready for things to go back to normal and to be able to go see my parents. You know, they live up in New Bern. As an example, I'm down here in Wilmington. They're up in New Bern, and, you know, it's only 90 miles away, uh, and it's just not practical right now to take my kids up there uh, and expose my parents to potential who knows what. So whatever. But at least the weather is not a big factor overall. Um, no major watches and warnings. Just a little bit of wintry weather up here in Maine. So if you're traveling through the beautiful countryside of Maine, I've been to Maine once before. Uh, it's a nice area. So if you're traveling up there, just keep in mind there are some winter weather advisories. So one last look here, and eh, maybe we'll do it again Monday, but this is the full Atlantic Basin, at least most of it anyway. Here's the west coast of Africa. Uh, here is eastern North America. I'll just kind of outline this for you so we can get our bearings. Central America down here, the north coast of South America. Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, and there's the Dominican Republic, there's Cuba, and big old area of high pressure in here, mid to upper level low here, affecting the Iberian Peninsula, that would be Spain and Portugal, high pressure over here, and that high pressure is pumping in some nice moist weather, uh, warm weather too, out ahead of this trough, low pressure area in there, and there's a general look at the weather map for you, not bad. So we put this into motion, I'm just going to let it run um, I'm going to let it go out for the full 384 hours from the 12Z GFS today. And I want you to just notice, with the exception of that, and again, this is one of those rogue systems that tries to kind of pop out of an old uh, vorticity maximum up there. And you're going to see it's just generally unsettled in the eastern Atlantic over here, in the northeast Atlantic near Portugal, north of the Canaries. We'll watch that for potential development in the off-season and beyond. Uh, and the water temperatures are warm enough out there with that cold atmosphere above that you never know. You know, we might squeeze out another name storm out there, even if it is subtropical in nature. But notice, down here in the deep tropics from the coast of Africa all the way over to the Bay of Campeche and everything in between, no concentrated areas of vorticity. Most of the energy now is up here in the subtropics, in the mid-latitudes and beyond. And the high latitudes, that is what you would expect to see in the off-season. And that is indeed what we have. And just to watch this little feature again real quick. So you see this little piece of energy right here. And it dips in, a little trough out here. And it's sharp enough. Uh, and this is about 72 hours out. We'll just move it ahead. That does try to close off, as you can see there, off the coast of Portugal. Portugal is right here. And you might be thinking, well, dude, that's way out in the eastern Atlantic. Who cares? Well, I care, and people that live out there care. Uh, the Canary Islands, you know, that's right down here. Uh, there's uh, air traffic that would have to travel through this, potentially, and shipping lanes and so forth. And so that'll be interesting to watch as see, see how that evolves. Um, we'll see if we get an outlook from the National Hurricane Center in the coming days and see how that progresses. Could be, uh, you know, another system, but... At least it's not a major threat to land, and it's kind of hybrid, if you will. Um, so again, lower 48 weather real quick here, uh, focusing on today and the next few days. This is valid right about now as I'm putting this together, eh, a couple hours after 18Z anyway. Here's that storm system in the country's midsection roughly. A little snow and ice, rain, whatever, cold rain at times up there in New England. And storm system kind of weak trying to come into the Pacific Northwest. But that's about it. No major storms over the next few days. But we will be watching to see as we get into early December, does something try to develop where you get one of these lows that comes out of Texas in the Northwest Gulf 
and combine with this Arctic front that's going to be coming down to produce some kind of a storm along the nation's east coast and areas inland from there. You might have a coastal low and <clears throat> possibly an inland low. Um, it, it's a nor'easter, generally speaking, even though it's inland because it's moving off to the northeast and you get those northeast winds on the back of it. It's got that southwest to northeast trajectory, but it's not your classic coastal nor'easter, put it that way. I mean, look, it's really complex. It kind of jumps across there at hour 168 or so. So we'll see. You know, this is about a week out. This would be December 2nd. Kind of wet and rainy and very windy. Uh, snow for the Appalachians, perhaps. And this gets us firmly into, well, firmly a couple of days into the off season. So we'll have some stuff to talk about going forward. So have a good several days ahead. Uh, be safe out there if you're traveling. Um, the virus, the dadgum virus, notwithstanding, you got to worry about the highways and the byways and the secondary roads and the red lights and the stop signs. Everybody's got stuff going on during hurricane season. We call that hurricane brain, and we see it all the time, and it happens around the holidays. People are stressed. Everything is it's just so much, right? So just take a deep breath. Try to get to where you're going safely because I need you on the other side of your device or there's no reason for me to be here, right? And that being said, thank you very much for being with me this year. Our YouTube channel grew substantially once again. The crowdfunding uh, through Patreon grew and we were able to do more than we had ever thought possible and it is 100% because of you guys. It really, really is and I'm not just saying that as a token gesture. It is absolutely from the bottom of my heart. My family thanks you, my colleagues you know, who worked with me, Mike Farrow, Greg Nordstrom, Brent Lynn. Uh, we took a new guy with us this year, Charles Edney. He came along to help. Being able to have a safe vehicle, being able to afford uh, the equipment and all the hotel stays, it was all you. Every bit of it was you guys, and we really, really appreciate it. And that will put us in a good spot for next year as we cover off-season weather. And then before you know it, it will be hurricane season once again. All right? All right. Well, have a great rest of your Wednesday and a great Thanksgiving. Uh, and I will see you again on Monday, the 30th, the last day of hurricane season. We'll go over some stats, take a look back at a few things, and then a quick look ahead at what we will be looking for from the big old puzzle pieces, as I call them, as we await what might happen in the 2021 hurricane season. And then, of course, the off season in between. All right. All right. Mark Sabbath, hurricane track.com. I'll talk to you again on Monday.